us all the way from Indianapolis. They were on an episode of Baskets. Give it up for the very funny Sears. Yes, my last name is Sears, and no, I'm no relation to the store. Because if I were, they wouldn't have been called Snap-on Tools. <laughs> Yeah, that means uh, my GPS is on mute because I get real tired of her saying, go straight, go straight. Mind your business, GPS, I like who I am. I mean, I've been out since BE. You know, before Ellen. Okay, let me explain for the millennials. She hasn't always been out, you guys. This was way back before I knew what LGB or T even meant. Let alone the LMNOP, QRS, and everything else they're in the alphabet now, right? And I got asked the other day if I was cis. And I was like, yeah, I have a sis. <laughs> no, are you sis? And I'm like, she calls me sis. Still no. What were you born as and what do you identify as? And I'm like, well, that's easy. I was born a female and I identify as a lesbian woman. Unless the bathroom lines are long. <laughs> right? Yeah. And I was a freshman in high school and this upper class been yelled, dyke? And I was like, he must think I'm retaining water. That's a damn joke, sir. He knows he's old enough. He gets it. Um, and my mom sat me down. She's like, honey, are you gay? And I'm like, what? And she's like, are you gay? And I'm like, why would you ask me that? She said, because you and your friend want Arby's an awful lot for dinner. I'll wait. <laughs> Okay, so Arby's, think about your vagina, what it looks like. It looks like a roast beef sandwich. So when I say Arby's, I'm talking about your vagina, not your vagina, but a vagina, okay? Okay, now we're caught up. Yeah, and this was back in the Bush era. God rest his soul. So yeah, that means I, this is my second mullet. Um, yeah, 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 right? I love it. It brings me so much joy. I'm growing it. I started growing it because I play the 80s dyke on my podcast, The Gays of Our Lives, because, well, I am the 80s dyke. And uh, yeah, but back in the bush here, the struggle is real. I mean, we had to dig through the bush to get to the puss. So I was real happy when. Yeah, I was real happy when women started doing landscaping. But they started doing those landing strips. And I'm like, that's stupid. It's not a plane. So I did one this way. So when I looked down at my girlfriend, she looked like Clitler. <laughs> she didn't think it was near as funny as I did. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I... Anybody on a date tonight? Any dates? Date night? Nobody? Yeah. Yeah? How'd you guys meet? Tinder? Farmers only. You get seven black. Black people only? Okay. <laughs> I can't see you, so okay. go fish. I, I, go plenty of fish. Go fish. Is that what you said? Oh no. No, you don't know. Go okay, fish. he doesn't know how they met. Okay, that's a good relationship. Just yeah. yeah, those dating sites are. Ooh, they are just. They make me cringe. I, I just can't hardly do them. I mean, I just keep. You know, I got on plenty of fish once, and you know the only fish I caught was a twat waffle. She was horrible, you guys. God, but. Uh, I did meet this guy the other day, and his last name was Vogelsong. And I was like, oh, what origin is that? He said, German, it means bird song. And I'm like, cool. Mine's Sears. It's English. It means bankruptcy. <laughs> so I asked him, I said, what do you do for a living? He's like, I work at the Y. And I'm like, I used to, too. I just haven't found one to tend you at. <laughs> okay, you guys will catch up later. <laughs> How many of you guys have tattoos? Yeah? Okay. So I realized you can tell somebody's age, kind of, by their tattoo. Follow along. If um, they have, you know, like a cartoon character on their ankle or, you know, initials on their lower back or something like that, they're usually in their 40s. In their 30s, they usually have a, a star tattoo or, a, you know, an infinity symbol on their wrist. 20s usually have a big thigh tattoo, right? Well, I have my mom's initials on my lower back before she was a tramp. <laughs> and after my double mastectomy, I got one right here that says stand up or fall down seven times, stand up eight. And I was like, that's pretty cool. 
Yeah, it's called a skank flake now, you guys. <laughs> so my mom's a tramp and I'm a skank. Um, not further from the truth, she slept with one man in her life and I've slept with none. But I'm wondering what they're gonna... I'm, gonna wa I'm wondering what they're gonna rename these other tattoos to, you know? Like, is this one gonna be called a twat spot on your wrist? What about a snatch patch? No, no? You guys can follow me on Homo Sears Comedy because let's be honest. And, um, or the gaze of our lives, and I'll leave you on this. So I bought something once from a garage sale site, you know, Facebook Marketplace. You guys have internet down here, right? Yeah. Okay, just make sure. And uh, I went to this lady's house to pick it up, and her cat came around the corner. It was a gorgeous cat. And I was like, talking to her about it. She's like, yeah, I paid six grand for that cat. I wanted to look at her and say, lady, you got ripped off. Do you know how much pussy I can get for six grand? Especially in Louisville. Thanks, guys. <laughs>